Welcome to our Intro to 1, 2, 3D Design video series by Library21C. In this video, we are covering how to import a scalable vector graphic uh, into 1, 2, 3D. Now, um, you know, I trust you guys are going to be smart enough to Google, you know, what is an SVG and how, is it, is it, how does it differ from a JPEG um, and how to, you know, draw one in a software uh, such as Inkscape, which is a, a, a free software for handling line art. Um, Importing an SVG once you have one uh, is fairly simple. I'm going to delete what I have here and go to import under our file menu and I can import an SVG as a sketch. And I have one saved on my desktop here and I'm going to double click that and here I am. I have my SVG entered into here. Now this is going to work like any other sketch at this point. I can extrude the sketch like that and let's see what happens if I I may not be able to actually affect this radial dial without getting an invalid operation because when you import an SVG especially a complex one you have a lot of little line segments uh, that comprise it and the more of those little breaks you have the harder it is to do a whole lot with it uh, but you can import uh, one of these now that's pretty much all there is to it but the other thing that I want to cover in this video, and I'm going to hop over to a different program called GIMP, which is a free photo uh, imaging, uh, sorry, photo manipulation software, basically your free version of Photoshop. Because what I want to do is I want to show you how I actually got this SVG. I obviously am not a good enough artist to draw it out myself. Um, and I did not Google uh, how you know a bat symbol SVG I created this out of a JPEG and you can do this uh, with any JPEG that you like provided you know a little bit about how to handle GIMP so I'm gonna hop over to GIMP right now and show you that we can use the circle select tool to select uh, an ellipse if we want and then you know once you select in a region you can you know do whatever you want to it you can delete it you can brighten it you can do all kinds of different things uh, with the tools uh, in GIMP. Specifically what I want to do is I want to trace an outline of the bat symbol because an SVG at the end of the day um, is is just an outline or a silhouette of an object. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the fuzzy select tool which selects a contiguous region on the basis of color. Now this one's going to be easy because this is all black. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give it a click here and you'll notice that I can see the outline of the uh, the bat symbol here uh, and then I'm gonna go over uh, to this dialog over here right now I'm looking at it in the layers view I don't really need that for creating an SVG I'm gonna click this button and that's gonna shift me over uh, to a view called paths and what I've got in paths is the ability to translate this selection outline that I've created into a path and a path is basically a precursor uh, to an SVG file and you, and you transform it to a path by pressing this red button and I click it there and now I see that I have created a path file for this and then all I gotta do is I gotta right click this path and export it and when I export bring it into here I'm gonna save it on the desktop and I'm just going to call it I'm gonna call it bat symbol Dot SVG. Now, uh, I already have a version of the file here, so maybe I'll just call it bat symbol 2. Um, but uh, GIMP is weird. I do have to specify the SVG in the name, otherwise 123D isn't going to recognize it for some strange reason. But there I am. I save it. And when I go back into 123D Design, all I have to do is go to Import. I can uh, import it as a sketch or I can import it as a solid. And the solid is just basically going to kind of give it a guess as far as, um, you know, what uh, what height to, to give it for an extrusion. But there I am with that. Um, and that's uh, a useful tool that you can use if you're not uh, a very good uh, artist uh, using the, the polyline and the spline tools or if you've got something very specific in mind. So here we are in GIMP, um, and what I'm looking at here is uh, basically just a JPEG that I pulled off the internet. There's nothing special about this picture. Um, I just Googled a JPEG of the bat symbol. And, and what we have available here in GIMP, besides a bunch of other neat tools, is the ability to select regions of an image using either just a rectangle select tool that we can just draw out, 